Welcome to Excel Video 513, everybody. I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this to you from Florida, where I'm on site to work with the client in the next couple of days. We're going to take their data, their issues, their workflow, and customize the training for just exactly what they need to see. Find that contact button, and let's do the same for your practice. What I want to do today is play with layers. Remember last time we said, hey, we're going to add multiple data sets to one tour in 3D Maps. So we added three. I've got the CMS sample data we started with. Referrals with time shows referrals coming from patient zip codes. CMS is the referring physician zip codes. And then I've got a third table here that shows the zip code and the population for these various areas that we're seeing the data. And what we're going to do now is try to blend some of that data together with layers. So what I have here, let's say that what I want to see is referrals with time and the population. So this little eye icon will hide the CMS sample data. You'll see I get the little strike through thing there that helps me. In fact, let's hide this pane so you got a little more room. Now I've got referrals with time and zip population. So I can click this arrow and that'll give me the drop down in the data I'm used to. Let's change the height to make that the referrals and we'll make that go up like that. And maybe, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I guess I like it the way I had it. Something like that shows me here's where my referrals are coming from by patient zip code. Now my interest is, okay, so I've got some height here. I wonder if I'm getting more referrals from more populous zip codes and vice versa. So what I can do is I can, I'll minimize this area. Let's open zip population and data. And what I have here is I have the zip codes because Excel found that I had location geographic data. So it put that in for me, but it doesn't know what to do from there. I think what I'm going to do is use this region map and then what we'll do is we'll change the value to the population. And then as we've seen in other Excel videos, we could easily play with some of this in terms of, hey, I don't like purple, I want some other color. And in fact, let's slide this down a bit so we have a bit more room to see. But now what I've got is data that shows me this is a populous county, the darker purple, and I'm getting a bunch of referrals. This is a less populous county zip code, excuse me, less popular zip code, and I'm getting fewer referrals. And I can zoom in and move around something like that, and I can drag and drop and see exactly what I want to see. But notice what I'm doing is I'm using multiple layers to show two different things on the same map. If I wanted to add another layer, what I can do is I can click Add Layer, and Excel says, fine, here's a fourth layer, and I could come through and I could rename this test and then I've got the same data options I do here uh, when I go to add the first field Excel will say okay you tell me which data set you want do you want the CMS sample data do you want referrals with time or do you want zip population let's say I want to layer some CMS sample data on here and so I'm going to pick from here so all right here's all my data then what I can do is I can look at it by referred by zip now I have a location field and maybe the height can be total number referred there. And then what I can do is I can build that along with this to see all the data in one place. Now it's a little bit messy because I'm using the same color scheme here. So we'll just do one more quick thing and let's go to layer options and change that color just so it's a bit more obvious where the, here's, where the, here's where the referring sources are, and here's where the patients are. See how I can use multiple layers to show every, multiple pieces of information on one map, on one tour? That's what it's all about. Now the challenge is, let's say I like this, and I like another one, and I like another one. We're going to talk about scenes in the next Excel video on how to make scenes work in a tour. I look forward to seeing you then.